il y a plus d'une dizaine d'années, dans le golfe de Guinée, on enregistrait de plus en plus d'actes de piraterie de vol en mer armée. Mais avec l'accélération de, de renforcement des capacités à tous les niveaux, on peut le dire vulgairement, la peur a plutôt changé de camp. Pendant longtemps, les institutionnels ont eu peur de la piraterie, et même je crois que c'est plutôt les pirates qui ont peur des institutionnels. SWAMS is an initiative that has come up as a joint program between the European Union and the West African countries. And for the past three years, we've been working very closely with UNODC on the legal response that has given us ability to train the judges, the prosecutors, and as well beef up the legal governance frameworks of uh, different countries in the region. The spirit of EU's engagement in the Gulf of Guinea is really about regional cooperation. It is the starting point of how we work in this region on maritime security. So on 3rd July 2022, ECOWAS heads of states and government, they have adopted the Supplementary Act to transfer the piracy suspect and its associated evidence and property. Sans la législation nationale adéquate, de transférer les suspects, de piraterie arrêtée et les preuves et ou bien associées de la mer vers un État membre doté d'une solide législation nationale pour y être jugé. L'acte lui-même a aménagé des droits de l'homme importants des personnes suspectes. Et il se trouve que la Cour de justice a un mandat général en matière de protection des droits de l'homme dans les 15 États membres de la CDAO. Toute personne engagée dans une procédure pour acte de piraterie pourrait, si elle estime que ses droits ont été violés, saisir la Cour de justice qui pourra examiner si effectivement, dans le cadre de l'application de cet acte additionnel, les droits ont été violés. In order to support the effective implementation of the Supplementary Act, under the European Union-funded SWAMS program, UNODC GMCP is simulating the transfer of piracy suspects within the Grand African Nemo exercise this year. So at sea, we are simulating the entire maritime interdiction operation process to start from the boarding and searching of the vessel from the Navy's boarding team. We are also simulating the process of the arrest and detention of suspects pending transfer to another state and ensure the process is in line with international human rights law. Then police and gendarmerie come in to simulate the phase of evidence collection on vessel and how to respect the chain of custody. The most important thing is how the evidence were collected, how evidence were packaged, how they label them, how they sketch the scene. Things that will be important in the prosecution and uh, linking the crime to the suspect and what can be admissible in our court of law. At the end, we are sending the collected evidence through Yaris communication system directly from the vessel to their National Maritime Operations Center. Once the transfer request is being transmitted, the Ministry of Justice receive it and go through the documentations, look into the evidence, you know, have need to call the investigating team for pre-trial conference based on the gathering of the evidences. So we advise for the case to be charged to court. This exercise permits, conformely to the act additional, that the pirates free, whatever their nationality, can be judged. On ne laisse plus les pirates dans l'air, dans la nature, parce que l'État qui les a arrêtés n'a pas une compétence universelle. Two, three. Nous devons continuer, avec l'aide de nos partenaires, de prendre toutes les dispositions pour être proactifs et pour toujours imaginer le mode d'action des pirates avant qu'ils ne se mettent à commettre les actes en mer. The European Union is fully committed, fully share the security concern of the coastal states in terms of maritime security. And this direction is the direction of ownership. It is a direction of respecting the leadership of the coastal states to ensure the security in the waters of the Gulf of Guinea.